And we're back. Well, we still don't have a breathing certificate, but, uh, we do have some strolls. This Brotoflatron requires a stroll. Yes, those. So, what's, uh... There, we, we've got a picture. What's, uh... How do I do this? I think now I do this and put it here. Yeah. Recruitment service speaking. I've received your photo, but I'm afraid you didn't get the job. The ideal worker must be well dressed. How uh, mean. Okay. To pause and go away. There we go. Well, we just so happen to have uh What are these? Recruitment service speaking. I received your photo, but I'm afraid you didn't get the job. The ideal worker has blue eyes. How mean. Okay. Luckily, we bought some blue eye glasses. <laughs> Clearly, we are now the perfect worker, and there is nothing more she could ask us for. Recruitment service speaking. I received your photo, but I'm afraid you didn't get the job. The ideal worker has a strong chin. I'm starting to think she's looking for somebody to look at. <laughs> Rather than a worker. Okay, luckily we bought a fake chin, too. Is she hiring you to be a pool boy by chance? That just looks goofy. <laughs> okay. Okay. There, there couldn't possibly be anything else that you want. Mediocre. <laughs> Recruitment service speaking. I received your photo. You would have had the job, perhaps, if you had a beautiful head of black hair. <laughs> <laughs> now you're not even hiding it, lady. <laughs> but you know what? We got something that should be able to fake as being black hair in a picture. You can see why I gathered so much frickin' money now. Uh, there we go, now we don't look completely ridiculous. I think I saw that guy in a movie once. Hey, look, it's a passable photo now. That should be good enough, right? Recruitment service speaking. I received your photo. You're almost what we need. But you don't have a nice smile. <laughs> How much money have I spent on these stupid pictures so far? <laughs> five. Let's see right for it. Yep, five. Fine. Put everything back on. This lady has no idea how much trouble I'm going through to look like an idiot. <laughs> and now this time Woodruff should smile for us. Creepy. Wow, that was awful, Woodruff. <laughs> We went from <laughs> okay. Average should be fine, I'm, I guess. <laughs> Recruitment service speaking. I received your photo. You call that a nice smile? There's no teeth. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't have any fake teeth, so, uh. <laughs> Let's go. Incidentally, you can bypass that entire puzzle if you happen to know what you, all you need and just put it all on before you take the first picture. But that wouldn't have been doing a good job of showing it off, would it? <laughs> Anyways, this guy had a Bluxter nut. This merchant tells me that he sold his last Bluxter nut 
to some guy named Ernst Blinst. Oh no. Luckily, I know who that is. I don't remember how you're supposed to figure this out. <laughs> walk around and talk to everybody until you find them? That might be it. There's not really that many people to talk to, but it's, uh... The guy we couldn't get to earlier. That dude should be out of the elevator now. <laughs> oh, so you didn't actually have to help the guy out of the elevator. Nope. He's just there to block our way until you actually need to come down here. <laughs> Here, an unhappy cat. Me too. I think he might be hungry. Probably. Anyways, this guy. You got me with your rock. I lost my chest because of you. So you offer virtual trips then? Oh, your sandalwood chest is beautiful. It must be heavy, isn't it? Indeed, but it's missing a leg. So, to keep it stable, I use a bluckstrap nut as a wedge. Did you know it is the hardest nut in the universe? Oh yeah, th this nut is fascinating. Sell it to me, your price will be mine. If you can find me something as hard as this nut, I'll give it to you free. Hmm. Oh, there's a new objective. But while we're here, let's uh... Let's, let's, use a vir let's get a virtual trip, why the hell not? That was it? <laughs> yes, it's doom. Anyways, let's, uh, let's, let's obsessively check the weather for a little while until it meets, my, until it meets something that I care about. <laughs> the landing of a huge meteorite is expected in front of the administration center, while on the tower side of the prison, some clearing will develop with some violent winds reaching 217 kilometers an hour. That was the latest weather report. Well, that sounds dangerous. <laughs> well, that actually happened a lot faster than I wanted it. I expected it to. And close. So, let's uh, go back to the... let's go see about that meteorite. <laughs> that should be hard. Meteorites aren't hard. Don't you know that they're made of gas? No. <laughs> You're just wrong. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. They're made out of liquid. Hmm. That would be kind of interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let's get our weather watch. I bet you it's going to land in the same place the rain fell. Shocking. How would you know that? Hey, hey. Hey. What a jerk. So let's try this again. And now we just need to wait for it. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Waiting? It exploded. Because it's not hard. Yeah, it's supposed to be leaving a chip somewhere, though, and it seems to not be doing that. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. In fact, I'm probably doing it wrong, but whatever. Let's try this one more time. Before I accept that I'm a failure. <laughs> Hang on, I know. Let's destroy the hat. <laughs> <laughs> Who 
but if it doesn't like my ideas. What about in that giant box? You forgot that guy was there, didn't you? Oh, yes I did. I am not certain Also, I thought this... he was against violence. Yeah. I'm not certain why this isn't doing what I want it to. Maybe this isn't the right... Maybe it won't do it on this screen. So let's change the weather. Skies which will give some local showers, some showers at the slammer's dead end, while the fall of a piece of meteorite is expected in front of the administrative center. This was the latest weather report. That's... That's where I am. <laughs> <laughs> Good to know that, uh... The landing of a huge meteorite is expected at the Big Big Place, while there will be winds reaching up to 548 kilometers an hour in front of the administration center. <laughs> this was the latest weather report. Okay, let's let's see if the big wig plaza will play nicely. <laughs> Good to know that uh, meteorites are a common weather occurrence. Yeah, yeah. There seems to always be meteors falling somewhere in this city. <laughs> I mean, that's why it's so terrible here. It's because everybody sprayed aerosol cans. There is no more ozone. I don't think those stop meteors. <laughs> They do, because meteors are made out of gas. Okay, let's wait for it. Doot, 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 doot. Can you talk to that guy? You have an important job. Do you hold a higher-up position in the city? Alas. I am only a boozook slave with no hope of becoming free. Huh. <gasps> what about that other ad? Meteor. Come on. <laughs> Experience amazing thrill in Ernst Blinst virtual travels. Ah, that's how. <laughs> Meteor. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I think I might have broken it by talking to that guy. <laughs> We'll finish talking to him, I guess. <laughs> it doesn't look too hard of a job, does it? I am in charge of watering the only plant left in the city. It's a pipe. <laughs> well, you could probably help me. What is this building whose entrance we can see? It's a sack. There are worshippers of the Schnibble, announced by Professor Azabuth. I don't care to talk to anyone. I'm going to leave and come back and see if we can make this meteor actually... Fall? Yeah. Since if it doesn't, we're not going to be able to get anywhere. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Don't change screens after you talk to the weather, apparently. <laughs> Locally, some showers in the red light district while lightning will strike unceasingly the slammer's dead end. This was the latest weather report. It's gonna turn out I'm doing this completely wrong and, uh... 
<laughs> wasting a ton of time. At the Big Big Place, some violent winds which are going to escalate up to 333 kilometers an hour. At the Red Light District, blue skies with some rain showers disappearing. This was the latest weather report. What? Even he's getting bored. <laughs> Locally, some showers on the administration center, as well as a falling piece of meteorite, is foreseen on the big wig place. Thank you. This was the latest weather report. I don't know why he finds the meteor is so hilarious. <laughs> he probably, every time, imagines somebody getting hit in the head with one. And he is sadistic. <laughs> now let's just patiently wait <laughs> for that meteor. <laughs> I'm also interested in checking out that rain. But that can wait. So, hear any good jokes lately? There we are. I could have sworn meteors from either place would work, but apparently only that one will. <laughs> Anyways, let's go uh, give this thing to Ernst. And not buy another virtual trip, because that was really lame. <laughs> Here you go, buddy. And now we have a Blockster Nut. Hooray! Well, that was sad. Not my problem. Bye. <laughs> I held up my end of the deal. So let's take this nut to the temple guard, who I'm sure will be totally happy that we're giving him a shelled hardest nut in the world. By shell, that means still having a shell. So, not shelled. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever the opposite of shelled is. <laughs> Could it be unshelled? That sounds like it doesn't have a shell, though. Yeah, I don't know. We're giving him a nut. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> there you go. Hey, you joker! It's not enough to get me the Bluxter nut, it's the pulp I'm interested in. Everybody knows that it is the hardest nut in the universe. <sighs> Moving the goalposts. So anyways, I'm sure you can guess exactly how we need to deal with this. You. Me? Yes. <laughs> uh, bite it. Yeah, that would totally work. No. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> you gotta make a trip back somewhere here. Do -do 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 -do. Now the car's out of the way. We also, not the gaming room. The singing monk. That virtual trip tower. I thought there was. There it is. The gamble monk. No. Oh. The waiter. No. Oh. We had to prepare our method, which you've already seen. Involves dropping meteors on it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Woodruff, go go out the door. <laughs> but it's round, so I'll just roll away. So let's uh, dunk it in some tar. <laughs> now I'm fairly certain that lady won't let us go back into the red light district from that end. So. <laughs> 
I'm saying, you know what? Screw the water. Let's walk up the top. <laughs> Whee! This is where we killed the dude. Because we're pacifists. <laughs> huh. You get that lady to knit a wool sweater. For what? <laughs> to keep it from rolling. No, that's what the tar was for. <laughs> well, what if it gets cold? It's a nut. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it just needs to grow. Anytime now, Woodruff, come on. And to the one person I'd asked in a comment, no, there is no way to make him walk faster. <laughs> Although later on we will get an object that'll allow us to move a good distance in one uh, hop. Anywhere on the screen he is to go will still involve walking very slowly. <laughs> Also, let's see if we can find out where there's going to be a meteor. The landing of a huge meteorite is expected in front of the administration center, Meteor. while on the tower side of the prison, some clearing will develop with some violent winds reaching 217 kilometers an hour. That was the latest weather report. I've got it. Throw it into the wind. <laughs> <gasps> You're just messing with me now. <laughs> <laughs> These meteor strikes must be really common since this guy sitting here literally did not react to them. <laughs> and they land like right in front of his desk. And now we wait for it. I see eyeballs, Woodruff. There we go. Yep. Good thing I kept its shape after getting hit by a meteor. <laughs> now, let's go give Blucksternut pulp to that jackass. <laughs> Who? The Temple Guard. Because there's a lot of jackasses in this game. Pretty much everybody. <laughs> Even Woodruff. Although Woodruff takes a break from it every now and then and is actually helpful to people. <laughs> Unless I need him to do something quickly. Maybe not his teacher. Yeah, she was pretty nice. She probably has some terrible deep dark secret, though, about how she is actually an awful human being. Oh, there we go. That uh, got us access there. So let's break here and then do a little bit of exploring, and then I think we can call it a night. Was she a human? One moment. <laughs> 